Here's why. Because religion, it likes to criticize from afar. Religion is very narrow-minded. Jesus, followers of Christ, we should not be narrow-minded. There's a very, very big difference in walking a narrow way or, or walking a narrow path and being narrow-minded. As followers of Christ, we walk a narrow path. Jesus is our leader. We follow him. But at the same time, we're open-minded. We're, 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 that, that's any search of truth starts with an open mind. We read the Bible with an open mind. That's how you find truth, by being open-minded and studying the scriptures. And the third thing, and I'll, I'll just say this, you know, religion has a problem with churches that reach people. That's what I've noticed. They just have a problem with churches that reach people. And then thirdly, religion focuses on all the wrong things. I mean, everything that this older brother was doing with, um, you know, for, he's talking about doctrine. Here's what religion does. Religion focuses, I like to say this, they focus on all the minors instead of focusing on the majors. Like it's one thing, it's very important, the, the major doctrines, you know, of the Trinity, that Jesus is the only way to heaven, that the Bible is the inerrant word of God. I mean, there's only five to seven major doctrines as far as being a true follower of Jesus, but yet religion has this way to focus on all of the little minors. They'll focus on this aspect of the gifts of the Spirit. They'll focus, how do you baptize? You baptize in Jesus' name, and you baptize in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'll tell y'all last week, look, it's real easy. We'll just, we baptize you in both. We baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and in the name of Jesus Christ. Case closed. Okay, you're done, it's okay. What about this? How many weeks is your membership class? Our membership class is 30 minutes. That's right. how long it is. If you get saved, you're a member of the body of Christ at large. If you feel like this is your home church, you can join right now. Yeah. Well, I just don't like that. Well, why don't you read Acts chapter two? 3,000 were saved in that day and they were added to the church. It wasn't a six week process. It wasn't a whatever. Well, 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 what kind of, you, you don't know the, what, what kind of translation of the Bible they read. None of those translations. In fact, it's King James only. King James only. Oh my gosh. First of all, can I say this? Can I say this? Just like I was, just like many of you today. First of all, if you've not been following Jesus, any translation of the Bible is probably better than what you've been reading. All right, well, you know what? Just anything. It's gonna be better than the stuff you've been reading or the stuff you've been watching, okay? You try to put that stuff on people? King James only. On church people, King James, what is that? Is that like LeBron James Bible version? What, what is the King James? Why do we want to make the these thous and the hither there twos and the house so asunder there be it? Why would we, why would we put that on someone when they're just trying to find God? Do you see what I'm, and just, just so you'll know this, King James only people, I've been studying the Bible for 21 years now. I've studied every single book that provoke, promotes King James version only. And if you read that with an open mind, it's not King James version only only. There are several. When you get down to it, it's the Greek and it's the Hebrew and it's the right translation for the culture at hand. Okay? So just move on. That's all I got to say. Move on, man. M move on. And let's, 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 let's make Jesus the focus here. It focuses on all the wrong things. Let me ask you this. Just think about this. What if the older brother Instead of criticizing from afar, what if he would have just gone in and just experienced it 
and had an open mind? What if he would have focused on the joy of his father, the goodness of God instead of the weakness of his brother? What if instead of focusing on all the little things, what he did, what he hasn't done, what his brother did, what his brother has done, instead of focusing, what if he focused on the bigger picture? That the lost, what is so valuable to God, which is why we are here. Jesus came to seek and save the the parable of the lost sheep, the parable of the lost coin, the parable of the lost. Instead of focusing on the little things, what if you had focused on the bigger mission? I might not agree with how exactly this is going on, but I tell you what, we are fulfilling the mission of what God's called us to do, of what my father really wants. What if the older brother would have had that attitude? Because here is the sad truth. You, know, you wanna know what? Today, this is a type and shadow of the house of God, and today, Many people will visit God's house, visit what's called a church, but instead of encountering the heart of the Father, they'll encounter the spirit of the older brother. And they'll go right back to the slop that they've been living in because they encountered religion instead of a relationship with God. Listen, we all have a choice to make as individuals and we have a choice as a church. Are we gonna be a place that represents the heart of the Father? That's what religion does. It, dis it gets disconnected from the heart of the Father. Are we gonna be a church and we're gonna be people that represent the heart of the Father so when people come home, when they come to God and they need God and they want God, they'll encounter that love and acceptance? Or are you gonna be a person and there's gonna be churches out there and what they do, they, they're gonna be more like that older brother. And when people come and try to find God, those people won't see God, they'll see religion. They won't find a bridge They'll find a barrier and they'll go right back out into the slop and they'll think, man, if God's like that, I don't want any part of it. And I don't blame them.